Good morning, everybody. Today is, today's Wednesday. <laughs> July something, I'm gonna insert that right here. Today is, <laughs> um, last night, well yesterday, the Oogie Boogie Bash tickets for Disneyland's Halloween event went on sale and people were sitting in the queue for eight hours, six hours, 12 hours, like outrageous, hours some people weren't getting tickets uh, last night I went on to the queue at I think it was like 10 11 last night so so about 10 30 we'll say um, and it told me that I had more than an hour to wait in the queue and it ended up getting me through the queue at about 11 30 so it took about an hour and 20 minutes or so for me so if you guys have not got your oogie boogie bash tickets yet and you want them and you don't want to sit in that line for eight hours i suggest going on at nighttime when more people are asleep and you will probably have better luck and not have to wait as long so that's what I did. That's my little opinion and suggestion for you guys. Give it a try, see if it works. I'm super excited. Junior and I are going to be going and we're going to be going at the end of October. So closer to Halloween. Woo, yay. Uh, but that's my little update for upcoming Disneyland news. But for today, I am about to get in the car and drive about 100-ish miles, a little more, and go to San Diego to visit SeaWorld. Yay! I have not been to SeaWorld in so long. I'm super excited to take you guys with me. And yeah, I guess that's all I gotta say about it. Let's go. Just start off with saying the SeaWorld app, trying to find your tickets, is extremely confusing. And I've been sitting here for the last 10 minutes trying to figure it out. So I'm just going to ask somebody at the front because I cannot figure out how to find your tickets. And this is just to show you where you get to park if you are a platinum card holder. I parked over there. And the entrance is right there. So pretty good parking. There was no line to get through security checks and it seems like it's pretty empty to get inside of the park so that's always a good thing. And again this is a Wednesday and it's about one o'clock right now. Alright so first thing is I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. Uh, it was my first time using my pass, so I thought I had to go to the kiosk to redeem a ticket to get in, but I didn't. I just had to go and get my ticket, my actual pass, printed up at the ticket booth. Uh, if you are bringing any guests, because the pass that I have, you are able to bring in friends with extra tickets, you just go up to the kiosk and you print up those extra tickets after you scan your, your pass. So it's super easy. I made it very hard. It was very confused, but again, it's my first time here. So I'm doing it and I'm doing the struggle so that way you guys don't have to struggle and you guys will be pros when you come. So let's go and have some fun now. 
just want to point out that Electric Ocean is going on right now for summertime. That is their nighttime, uh, very bright, fun lights that they're going to be doing. I have no idea what to expect, so we're going to check that out tonight. And it also looks like they're doing some things for that over here, which looks pretty cool. And this starts at four o'clock, so it'll start in a few hours. And I'll bring you guys over here to check it out. But it looks like they're gonna have so many lights. Everything will be so fluorescent and fun. They'll have music and lights over there. There's a crab and octopus viewing, so let's go check it out. Unfortunately, they're sleeping. They're not able to be viewed right now. See you real soon. Let's go. So we didn't see the octopus, but there are some eels. And they're very, very big. Check out the penguin encounter. Oh, it's so cold in here. So it's very dark and the windows are very fogged up so it's kind of hard to see hopefully you guys can see a little bit of the little guys running around this one's over there running like crazy So much energy. And now we have the puffins. It's definitely more light, so you guys can see a little bit better. 
They swim very fast. Look at them go. Look at those little feet. Let you go, buddy. It's so cute. I mentioned that I had not been there for a good 10 years and the last time that I had gone before we went together uh, was when I had cheer competitions and we used to compete there. So same thing goes for SeaWorld. I haven't been here in a good 10 years or so. Now we have a pass and now we're going to come a lot you guys. But the last time that I had been here was for, you guessed it, a cheer competition and that building right there was where we used to do our cheer competitions. So it was a very interesting, weird building to do competitions in because it's not like an actual building with AC. And it's got pretty decently high tent ceiling type of things, but it wasn't like a stage or anything. So it was very hot and humid in there, but it was fun. That was my memories of SeaWorld. That is honestly the only thing I remember about SeaWorld, that and Shamu. But there you go. Last time I'd been here was competing in that building. We got first place. Yay! So that's your trip down memory lane. Now we shall take a trip down SeaWorld pathways. <laughs> All right, and there's penguins outside. So we're going to go and take a look at them. Oh my gosh, they're right there. Whoa. sharks here and I didn't know that so we're gonna try to go find the little shark buddies I don't know how well you guys can see it but there's a sloth right there he's right that's the sloth there's another sloth right there they're kind of all tucked away and sleeping right now so they're really hard to see and this window is very dirty but he's so fluffy and cute. I just want to hold him. Look at his little head. He looks like a little dog. Oh, he's so cute. He sleeps like my cat, upside down.
They move so slow, so I'm trying to figure out if he's gonna keep moving or not. But I think he's stationary. That is where he's staying. <laughs> we got the Big Birds Bay of Play area. Wow, look at that. That's really cool. It's like a big pirate ship. They just run around on. I love it. So I do remember before you were able to touch the dolphins over in the tank, and I don't know if they got rid of it just because of COVID or if it's like a permanent thing, but you aren't able to do it anymore. At least right, not right now. So we'll see about later. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I got this for you. Do I have to tie it again? Yeah, she'll stay right here. Yeah, I got it. What is she doing over there? Yeah. Mama, what are you doing? Look at her, right? Look. I'm walking in so many circles trying to find the shark encounter. This way. How sparkly these little dolphins are. Cute. They have all kinds of sparkly animals. I really like the color on this turtle. We did it. It was hard to find, but we found it. It's somewhere this way. Oh, it's right here. All right. Okay, this tree is epic. I love it. I don't know what it is, but I love it. I love how tropical it is walking through here. I also really like how all of the signage for the shark encounter, they're all shaped like shark fins. Oh wow. Okay, it does not smell very good in here, but this is really cool. I love how immersive this exhibit for the sharks is. You're just in here. You're in the land with them. And these are fake plants. <laughs> dark, dark 
cave. Where are we going? Ooh. Feels like we're going on a ride. I know we're not, but it feels like we are. I see water. Could it be? Could, no, it's fake water. <laughs> like sharks, definitely come and check that out. So we are entering in the wild arctic. Oh wow. It's like a full helicopter in here.
further underwater, and I believe you can see the beluga whale over here. So let's go look at him. And it's supposed to be like we're underneath the ship. Or we're on the outside of the ship, I'm not sure. This is really cool. I like it. And again, it is very cold in here. So this is the place to go to cool down. the Arctic Trading Post. <laughs> These huge stuffed animals, a bunch of little seals. This guy's super cute. They have a bunch of shirts that look like they are part of the rescue unit. And these are $28.99. Yeah, these ones. They have more rescue shirts. There's some sweaters for $50. They have this cute turtle research and rescue toy. So there's a glare. These are $16.99, so you can rescue your own turtles. Look at this little guy. So cute. These big old slippers are really cool. And these are $24.99. Give you a polar bear. Here are some of the events that are happening throughout the year. So clearly those already passed, but right now is Electric Ocean. Then they're going to have the barbecue and Bruce. There will be a spectacular the Hollow Scream red, white, and blue salute, and the Christmas celebration. Ooh. Just so many hoops up there. are coming on but it's just too bright outside still to see the colors. here and hang out it's way quieter you have a very nice view of the bay and the skyline I like it so if you need a break from all the people this is where to go Thank 
lucky and then I'm walking in circles and then I turn a corner and it's something completely new. So I guess I'm not, but I found a whole bunch of flamingos. Look at them all. That one. He's so tall. walking through a ship and it's a cafe all right you guys that is it for our first day at SeaWorld I hope you guys had a lot of fun I know I did I love the fact that I can come to a theme park and just see animals everywhere it's the greatest thing ever I think I, I think that's awesome uh, I'm very tired, so I didn't want to wait until uh, the electric ocean was going on. It was, technically, it was going on, but I didn't want to wait until it got dark to be able to see it. But I am coming back next week with Junior, so I'm sure he's going to want to see it. So we will probably be showing it to you next week, so be excited as well as there is a Cirque du Soleil show that started at 7 and 8.15. I wanted to see it really bad, but I just did not want to wait that long. It's about 5 o'clock right now, and yeah, it, it's too long to have to wait. Uh, so with that being said, I am all done with today. Thank you so much for joining me today at SeaWorld, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.